Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're taking a very quick look at how to make a circular selection using the elliptical marquee tool, how to take that selection and paste it onto a new layer and then fill our background with black. So this is going to be useful for a pan planet project or the pan planet practice. In this case I've got a picture of our textured floor here at Stoughton High School. And what I want to do is get my elliptical marquee tool. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and show you, most of us probably won't have the elliptical marquee tool available. How do you access it? Click and hold the rectangular marquee tool, and then you'll see you have some options. I haven't let go of the mouse yet, so click and hold, and then let go when it's over the elliptical marquee tool, and there you go. Now. I've also set the fixed ratio up here, but most of us are gonna have this be a normal style. But if you go to style and change that fixed ratio with one height one, that will keep it a perfect circle, not an oval. So that's typically what we want. And then if you click and drag, you can make a selection from that, uh, but make a perfectly circular selection of your file, of your image here. So what happens if I want to move that after I've made this selection? No problem. You just click anywhere inside the selection and it'll move it around. What happens if I want to make that bigger? Well, you have to start over. You can't expand that. So you just click and drag. And then, you know, let's say you're like, oh, I want it to be as big as the width of the image here. Well, you can go like that, even though some of the selection is goes off the edge here, then you can move it over. And now it's fully kind of contained in the image there. So let's go ahead and call that. Uh, our selection, but you can change and modify that selection easily. Let's go ahead and go to layer, new, layer via copy. And you can see that the um, shortcut key is command J. I love that. It's a really useful tool. I use that shortcut key all the time. Layer via copy though, that will over here in our layers palette, take that layer one, it'll take that selection that we just made and paste only what's inside of the selection into this new layer here. And if I turn the visibility of the background off, you can see that we've got our planet shape or our circular selection here. The next step is to fill the background. We don't care about the rest of what's there. Uh, we want to actually fill that with black, right? And that's available up here. Edit fill or shift F5 is the shortcut key. Go here to contents. The default should be foreground color, I believe, but if we scroll down, we select black, and then we fill the background with black. Now you have a planet against a black background. If you're like, oh, I wanna make this appear a little bit smaller in the frame, you can do that too. You can use the free transform tool or under edit here, if you go to transform, edit transform, why isn't this available? Ah. These are all grayed out because I have my background selected. So you actually have to have layer one selected and it's helpful, you can rename this layer one too. So if you double click on the text there, you can say, this is my planet layer. That's always a helpful thing to label your layers. Now, if I go to edit, all of my transform tools are available here. But what you could do here is you could choose one of these non-free transforms. So you could free transform it, that's an option. But I actually think in this case, if you just wanna make it slightly smaller, but keep the perfect circular shape, what you could do is scale. And what you're gonna do is just grab a corner here and then drag it down and it'll keep the circular shape when you have it on scale. So if you wanted to take that and make it a little bit smaller in the frame or move it, right? If it wasn't in the center, you could set it to being in the center here like this. And then you confirm that and say, okay. You don't necessarily have to, that's an optional step. But at this point, this is all that we're trying to do typically with the first steps, especially in the pan planet practice, make a selection using the elliptical key tool, make sure it's a circle, paste it onto a new layer and then fill the background with black. All right, hope that helps.